Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and today I'm going to be sharing with you my pre-Black Friday slash Black Friday haul. Um, I got a ton of stuff that I honestly didn't really need, but here we are. Um, I'm going to just share it all with you. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what I've been purchasing over the past like month, month and a half, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to break this up into my pre-Black Friday purchases and then like my Black Friday slash week of Thanksgiving um, purchases. So the first one I'm going to talk about is actually my Sorenzo Beauty purchases. At this point, would it be a haul without Sorenzo? My past, like every haul I've done, I've purchased a Sorenzo Beauty product. So that should tell you how much I really enjoy their products. So I got about eight things from Sorenzo Beauty. I'm gonna pick them up in no particular order. So I picked up some body butter creams. I got two of them. I got um, this body butter cream. This is in the scent um, Lavender Tea Time. I really, really enjoy this scent. It smells divine, honestly. It smells so good, very fresh. If you're somebody that doesn't like super sweet scents, you kind of like more perfumey. Um, I think this would be a good choice. If you like lavender, I would definitely recommend this. So I got this Lavender Tea Time one. I also have the Toasted Marshmallow. I haven't used this one yet, but I have the Toasted Marshmallow Creamy Oil and I really enjoy that scent as well. I also have this Kapuasu and Sea Moss Deep Conditioner. Haven't used a Sorenzo Beauty Deep Conditioner yet, so I'm really excited to try this. I have this Fenugreek Hair Butter. Um, I got this because around the winter time, usually once a year, I do mini twists and I was looking for a product that I could um, that I could use to seal in like the moisture in my mini twists. So yeah, I thought I might use this. I have a few other options here that I might be able to use for my mini twist, but we'll just see what I decide um, to use when the time comes. All right, so I have, I have two um, of their pre-poos. Um, this one is the Kapuasu and Sea Moss pre-poo. And then this is the fenugreek and rice water pre-poo. I have used their pre-poos before. I used the, I can't remember, it was like sweet potato pre-poo or something, and I really like that. Um, so I am interested in trying it. The, this one is like way liquidy, so much more liquidy than the first um, one I tried. So we'll see, um, but hopefully it performs very similarly to the first pre-poo I've tried from Sorenzo. I have another body product. This is the creamy oil, um, but this one is in the scent Iced Lemon Cookie. I have this pumpkin and clay hair treatment that honestly I'm very concerned about because this texture just doesn't... It... I have to see. I have to see this. It doesn't really like move. It doesn't really move when I shake it. It's really thick. I don't know. I don't know. It. I'm interested. I'm intrigued, but also like it kind of, I'm concerned by the way this, this looks um, in the container. But that is all that I got from Sorenzo Beauty. Oh, I meant to say, I need to say what the sale was on these. For Sorenzo, they had a um, month long, um, like Black Friday month sale. And I purchased these at the end of October and they were 40% off. So everything was 40% off. Um, during these um, specific sales in October. So now I'm moving on to my Annabelle's Perfect Blends purchases. I got um, quite a few things from them. Um, not a ton, but just a little taster for me to see what the brand was giving, I guess. Um, so first, in no particular order, I have this Foaming Body Wash. This is in the scent White Pepper Lavender. This smells really good. This is such a nice, like, interesting scent. It's like lavender with something extra. I like to, after I wash with this, um, follow it up with the Sorenzo Lavender Tea Time. Um, and with this, a little bit goes a long way. It's very like whipped. As you can see, I even could start by just using what was on the lid um, before I even went in with like the actual container. So a little bit goes a long way with this. But speaking of something <laughs> that doesn't go a long way, I have this shower lotion in the scent Cake Batter from Annabelle's Perfect Blend. I really like this. It really moisturizes my skin. 
Um, however, I have to use a lot of it. It got to a point where I realized like after the first time I used it, it was like down here. And I was like, oh, this is not going to last me long at all. Um, so I don't use it every day. I kind of just like use it when I'm, you know, feeling myself. I just want to do a little something extra, but this makes my, feel, my skin feel so amazingly soft. Um, and it sucks because I don't know if I'll buy it again because it is just not economical. Um, without a sale, I believe this cost $16. And if I used this every day, it would, um, I'd probably run out within two weeks. So I just can't really, I can't justify that right now at this point in time in my life, but we'll see if she has another sale that's a little bit more substantial in the future than I could see myself um, purchasing it. Um, I probably would purchase more of the unscented variety of this. Not There's nothing wrong with this cake batter scent, but it would just blend um, much more with a lot of like the lotions and soaps that I use. So I, yes, I would recommend it, but just be aware of that for me, a little, uh, I had to use a ton of it to get my skin feeling the way I wanted it to. So yeah, I got this. I purchased um, this whipped shampoo um, from the Dulce Pumpkin collection. Um, yeah, I have nothing really to say about it. It's a whipped shampoo. I'm interested to see how it works. I'm also interested to see if somebody could use this and as a like body wash as well. So I'd have to compare the ingredients between the foaming body wash and the soap to see if you could like mix and match the two. All right, I have um, this Dulce um, Pumpkin Buttercream. This says you can use it on your hair and your skin. Um, when I purchased it, I really just thought it was for your hair. So it being for the skin is interesting. Um, yeah, I haven't opened this at all. And lastly, well, not really lastly, I have this um, moisturizing body custard as well. And this is in the scent, ja this is in the scent Japanese pear and ginseng. Um, so I'm excited to try this out as well. Also from Annabelle's, I got one of these um, like chapstick things. This is in the scent almond biscotti. Um, it's like, okay. It's okay, it doesn't really melt onto your skin um, because it's shea butter. I mean, some shea butters are a bit softer than others, but this was pretty hard. Um, so it's not the softest like chapstick I've ever used, um, but like if my lips are dry, I'll use this and it would definitely help. So yeah, that's what I got from Annabelle's Perfect Blends. Um, they were having a sale. I think it was like 25% off probably. Um, that I got for these products. So that's why I didn't go like super ham because for a sale, I, I typically want something a bit more than that, but I was interested in trying and seeing what Annabelle's had to offer. These next two products I got from Ulta. Um, it's actually just some Not Your Mother's products. They were having them buy one, get one free. So I just decided to pick up this, um, this rinse out conditioner and this um, Curl Talk deep conditioner. I have not used any Not Your Mother's products yet, but I've heard really good things about it as well. So yeah, that's what I got from Ulta. All right, so for this next section of products, these are this is kind of where I went off the rails, honestly. Um, I found out about this Erica's closeout sale from a commenter under um, one of Ashkin Curls' community posts. So um, Erica's um, is or was a um, like beauty supply slash wellness. They sold like makeup, fragrances, candles, hair care, tool, hair care tools, like a ton of different things. And I believe it was black owned and Latina owned, um, but unfortunately they shut down, but um, they kind of were doing like a liquidation sale about a month and a half ago at the beginning of November, um, where everything was $5. Um, and even for a portion of that um, time, things were $5 with an additional 25% off on top of that. So it was pretty ridiculous and I just went in honestly um, on purchasing and stocking up on things. Um, I tried to hold out, which is why I missed out on some of the like really amazing um, products, but I do have a 
good amount of like really awesome um, products here that I got all for five dollars each basically um, so I'll try and keep it within like brands if I have enough but a lot of them are just like single items here single items there so it might seem a little bit haphazard but just know um, all of this for this section all came from Erica's so starting off um, I got this some things from Moisture Love um, I actually ordered three things but the shampoo did not come. I have the um, Deep Indulgence Replenishing Conditioner from Moisture Love, um, as well as the Seal with a Kiss Finishing Oil. Um, yeah, I also ordered the shampoo. That was not included in my order. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It was only $5. Um, however, I don't know if I got a refund for that because by the time I got my order, the website was like shut down. So who knows? It was $5. It's like, it's not the biggest deal in the world but i got these two things i have um some unicurl products i have this unicurl two-in-one conditioning shampoo as well as this um hair oil from unicurl i have some stuff from tailored beauty i have the tailored beauty moisturizing coconut cream or creme shampoo um, as well as this penetrating leave-in conditioning treatment from Tailored Beauty, have never tried anything from them before. I've got some stuff from um, Strands of Faith. This is the conditioning refresher spray. I do enjoy liquidy um, refresher spray and I like how it's kind of one of those type of trigger nozzles instead of these push from the top um, type of spray bottles. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, I also have this shampoo bar from Strands of Faith as well. I've never used a shampoo bar, so I was pretty excited that I was able to get some or get one um, at such a low price. They kind of are already inexpensive as it is though, so yeah. Just go on to some Camille Rose products I got. I have this um, Lavender Fresh Cleanse Detangling and Moisturizing Hair Cleanser. And I also have this Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. I've already used this, as you can kind of see. I've used this twice and I actually really, really enjoy this. Um, surprisingly, it is actually even more moisturizing, more conditioning than one of the deep conditioners I've tried from, um, from Camille Rose. So that was a shocker that I prefer this to their, um, actually, I prefer this to their like Algae Renew deep conditioner. I don't like that. Some people said that they had an ingredient change, so that could be why it's not like working the way it, it could have in the past. Um, but yeah, I, I don't I don't like their algae renew, but I do really love this and I would purchase this even if it were more than five dollars. Right, now I got some Sultanicals things. Um, I have this curl juice vegan hair mousse from Sultanicals, and I got two of these mango dip detangling slip leave-in conditioner detangling things. Um, never tried these before. Um, I honestly only meant to order one, but I didn't realize I had already added one to my basket. So that's how I have two. Not mad at it for $10, $10 for two of these. Like, I mean, can it get any better? I don't know. All right, so I have, this is going to be the last like multiple from a brand that I have. These are from um, some Alakay Naturals products. I've got this um, Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo. I have the Caribbean Coconut Milk Conditioner, so that's nice. I'll be able to try these like in one day or one wash day type of thing. Um, and I also have this Totally Twisted Lock Butter as well. I got this so that I might be able to use it for my mini twists when I eventually do them in like a month or so. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll use this. I don't know if I'll use that Sorenzo hair butter. All right, now the rest, everything else I'm about to show you are just singles. So I have this um, Curls Blueberry Bliss Mousse. Um, yeah, this mousse, $5. A lot of this, it's like, would I have gotten it under normal circumstances? No, but it was $5, so I couldn't say no. I have this um, vanilla cream custard from Curls Dynasty. I got this Curly Temple Mudslide Nourishing Conditioner with Rasool and Hemp. I have never used a Curly Temple product. 
I don't even know if I had heard of Curly Temple before I was browsing products um, for this sale. So I don't know if this will work, but it's 10 ounces, 10.5 ounces. So that's really exciting. Hopefully it performs really well in my hair. I've got this um, Bonita Afro Balm from The Do. I haven't really heard much about this product, honestly. When I got it, I started looking for, at some reviews and it was like, not a ton of people. I didn't see a ton, ton, ton of reviews on this. It's more like people use the gel or the mousse or kind of different types of stylers. You don't hear too much about this one. Um, we have the uh, main choice three in one revitalizing and refresh, revitalize and refresh conditioner. Um, this is from the Alpha line. I have used one of the main choices. Le um, four-way conditioners before and I really enjoyed that so um as using I really enjoyed that as a leave-in so I'm really excited to step into um using this leave-in as well okay y'all I promise we are like nearing the end of this Erica's haul got three more things so I have this bye bye build up I think this is a co-wash or cleansing conditioner um from Uncle Funky's daughter yeah, it says it has Rasul clay in it. So yeah, cool, $5, of course. And then I have this Oyen Handmade All-in-One Coil, Boing All-in-One Coil Styler. It is shocking to me that this styler is four ounces. Like that's very, that's a very interesting choice. Um, I, I have no idea what to expect from this. I haven't seen any reviews on it. I know they're out there, I haven't searched. I haven't searched for any reviews on this product. So we shall see what I will use this as because it's four ounces, like, wow. Okay, the last thing I purchased um, from the Erica's $5 sale was this Miss Jessie's Rapid Recovery Treatment. Yeah, so that was all I got from them. A ton of stuff. Like I said, this is where I went off the rails and that this is kind of like the end of my um, pre-Black Friday sales. So yeah, that was all of the products that I purchased from the Erica's $5 sale. Um, and what I'm about to show you next are basically all of the things I'd have bought basically the week of Thanksgiving. A lot of these were purchased on that like Tuesday or Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So I don't even know if I purchased anything actually on Black Friday. Definitely didn't buy anything on Cyber Monday. So yeah, here are the next set of products I promise we are getting to the end. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you um, that I purchased um, for Black Friday was Curlbox. I just happened upon these products, to be completely honest. I went on the Curlbox website and saw that I think it was like sometime a few days before Black Friday, I'm not even sure, but they had this um, these products available for about $12. And I purchased the Curls Dynasty box from Curls, Curl Box. Like I said, it was like $12 with shipping and everything. It was like $18, like I couldn't say no to that. Um, so in this box, we have five products. I've got the Coco Mint Shampoo got this Kalahari Smoothie Leave-In, the Give Me Slip Blast Hydration Conditioner, I've got the Twisted Definition, Twisting Cream, and lastly I have this Pumpkin Mint Deep Conditioning Treatment. So that was like a fine. I wasn't intending on like really going in on Curls Dynasty products, but now I have a full wash day of Curls Dynasty. So I'm quite excited to use them. And if you remember, I also had from Erica's this vanilla cream custard. So I have a lot of Curls Dynasty now. So that was one thing I purchased. Um, I also, I, I, I was also influenced by the influencers. I wanted to know what it felt like to use Misha's limited edition deep conditioners. So I purchased three out of the four limited edition deep conditioners because I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know. So I purchased the Misha Warm Sugar Cookie Deep Conditioner. 
I got the Mish Peaches and Cream Deep Conditioner. And lastly, I purchased the Sweet Pumpkin Spice Deep Conditioner. This packaging is pretty freaking wonderful. I typically hate when companies do this little false bottom type of, it's not like a full, it, it makes it seem like it's like a 10 ounce container or 12 ounce, but it's really an eight. I hate that. But this frosted, it looks really nice. I gotta give it to them, even though I think it's a waste of plastic. Um, so yeah, all y'all influencers that got up here the week before Thanksgiving and said we needed to get this product, I listened to you and I got it. So here we are. Um, these were like 25% off. They were only doing 25% off of their limited edition products. So yeah, that's all I got. I wasn't really interested in like their shampoo. I was kind of interested in their leave-in, but like, meh, it wasn't like a priority after seeing, you know, all that I have right now, it wasn't a priority for me to get that. Um, and I didn't get the, um, the like peppermint one because I don't like peppermint. I don't like the smell of peppermint. Um, I know this is controversial statement to make but i don't even like tingling on my scalp like it's just not like my thing um uh, if you love it more power to you but i don't like the smell of peppermint so i just didn't think it was like necessary for me to have an 18 dollar deep conditioner that i know i wouldn't like the smell of so yeah i stuck with these three and hopefully if there's one that i love then i'll just repurchase it um next year um, whenever they go on sale again. I actually think they're still currently on sale right now. I like bought these pr pretty much the hour um, that they, you know, had them up on their site. Um, so yeah, I thought that they were gonna sell out and they did not and they're still up right now if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I, I don't intend on purchasing anything else from them though, regardless of how much I may or may not love these products. All right, so I have some more things. <laughs> have some more things. Um, I purchased from For Bella Naturel. Um, was really, really influenced by quite a few people to buy some of these. Um, I think Afro Opinionated use some of their deep conditioners, maybe want to use it. Um, definitely um, Coils of Essence. Um, I believe that's her name. I could totally be saying the wrong thing right now, but she has also used um, these products and made me want to use them. So um, yeah, here I got the um, Coco Mango Leave-In Conditioner from Four Bella Naturel. It's said to detangle and anytime a leave-in conditioner says that it's detangling, then I'm about it. You've got me, I'm intrigued. So detangling, de it softens, detangles and moisturizes. So I'm excited to use that. I've got this, um, for Bella Natural Chebe and Coco Reconstructive Hair Mask with black seed oil and rice milk. Quite excited to use this. And lastly from them, I purchased the um, Babasu and Blueberry Buttercream Conditioner. All these things sound really good. I love the fact that they're 12 ounces. Um, and the sale on this, I believe, was 40% off. Okay. And I'm, I'm at, we're nearing the end. We're nearing the finish line. I just have four more products to show you. And these are from Nature's Little Secret. This is my first time purchasing from Nature's Little Secret. So I kind of just got the things that have been hyped the most for me. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. I got the um, Fenugreek and Detangling Pre-Poo from Nature's Little Secret. Wow. Um, yeah, the only time I would have ever got this was on sale because I, I think regular price, it might be like $14 or so. And like, unless this like blows my mind, I will always just wait for a sale to purchase it. But regardless, I'm really excited to use this. I've got the coconut milk strengthening conditioner. Um, Third Eye Angel talks about this one a lot and really, really likes it. So, and I, I like to have a good strengthening conditioner in my stash as well. So that's why I was interested in buying this. And then lastly, the last two products of this ex excessively long haul is my Nature's Little Secret Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich, Rich Deep Conditioner. I bought two of them just because every single person I have watched use this said that 
it's basically life-changing um so yeah i wanted to get two of them um and i'll just savor it um yeah because it's already sold out so i mean yeah if i i'm really really excited to use these two okay i know i said i was done but there was one more scraggler of a product um i actually have another sorenzo product that i didn't notice this is the um hair pudding i got it in the scent ice lemon cookie and i purchased this because um ashkin's curls talks this product up like she sold me on it we have totally different hair textures but she can use this as a one and done and i know she talks about how much her hair tangles and how much moisture her hair needs she basically i mean i could use that too so i'm very very excited to use this um and yeah this is officially the last product of this haul so if you have made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, if I've showed you any products today that you have used, that you like, that you even bought this past Black Friday, comment that down below. I'd love to know what you have purchased um, as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to talk to you in the next one.